Looking good across the area. A little bit of light snow as possible, but brutal, harsh, and ruthless, unrelenting. We've run out of patience and words to describe this winter, yet even with around 100 inches of snow, this winter won't be going down in the record books just because of the amount of snow, but because that records aren't being officially kept right now. ABC 57's first warning neighborhood meteorologist Tom Coombs explains in this special report. Since mid-November, it snowed and snowed and snowed. It's been a long snowy winter. In the month of January alone, we saw over 40 inches of snow but it's not going down in the record books. Currently, we don't have any observers at the airport at this time. Let's repeat that. <laughs> we don't have any observers at the airport at this time. No one is officially measuring the snow. Snow used to be measured here five times a day by FAA workers at the South Bend Airport. Now we rely on dedicated volunteers and observers. In 2011, uh, they decided to cut back on services. One of them was a contracted snowfall observer. Since then, the National Weather Service has relied on paid observers, but with measurements needed five times a day, proved to be too much. So now what? Instead of a routine observation, how about gathering many? Community Collaborative Rain, Hail and Snow Network. Or Coco Raz does that. It's a group of volunteers created after a deadly flood in Colorado. Uh, Coco Raz is very important in northwest Indiana and southwest lower Michigan, uh, especially for lake effect snow. When logging the data, what really matters is what's actually on the ground, and someone has to gather that. Snowfall measurements really helps us improve our warnings and get the information back out to the public. But people like this man do. My name's Jerry Martin, and I'm at the Coco Raz site is IN-EL-1. Elkhart County 1, the first one. First one. Jerry is the Coco Raz coordinator and first observer in Elkhart County. It started out as a curiosity of why his house seemed to get less rain. Then people started asking, Hey, what's that all about? There is some dedication and there is some need for reliability and accuracy. You don't want people to look out the window and say, Oh, we got three inches of snow today and go up and report it. You want people to go out and measure it. The goal is to get more Coco Ross sites like this. More reports improve forecasts. Buy a gauge, take the training. And you're ready to report with an easy to use website. The goal is to get more people to sign up in every county. Well, South Bend uh, not only is of local interest, but is also of national interest because of its location with regards to receiving lake effect snow. With your help, we can get our winters back officially on the record. We're very interested in trying to get an observer um, and get that data back online. And this winter will still technically go in the record books with an asterisk says snowfall totals will be gathered by an average here from those Kukara sites. And if you're interested, you can still learn more about that. Yeah, on our website, abc57.com. Yep. Very interesting story there from Tom. It, it really is. It's amazing. You, you just get so used to those observers being there and being paid. It's when they don't have them anymore, right. you're like, what happened to all yeah. that? And so many of our Facebook viewers are so interested in the weather. This is a great way for them to get involved and sure. also help out the weather. Absolutely. Team. They can report to them and to us at the same time. Absolutely. All right. Thanks, James.